Hi you guys, and today I'm going to show you guys how to organize your binder. I know I've done a whole bunch of these. Sorry for these. I'll just talk about these later. But, um, yeah. I'm just going to show you guys how to organize your binder. I already said that, but who cares? Um, I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, stop saying that. Sorry. Um, but yeah. To me, I think organize your binder is very helpful. And I think I've already made a video about this using this drink binder. And I didn't really like it because it broke. It's kind of breaking already. And this used to be my mom's. And I do not like pink. She does. So, hold on. Okay. So you're like, why would you make another one if you already did one of that? Well, because this to me is a special binder. And it's just very helpful when you have more assignments and you don't want to put them in folders this thick. Have a binder that's like this bulky or whatever. Like that bulky. Like, okay, fine. Like, I mean, two hands on top of each other. Bulky. But I hate that, so it's good to have these. Um, this is just a regular one inch binder. I want to show you the rest because it gives too much away about it. One inch. So, if you saw that, Eve, I, you might get a hint. But yeah, it's just this blue one inch one. I got it from Target. Below, I'll be showing you. Below at the description. Hello. Hello. I'll be showing you guys what is, or I'll be putting what is new, the things that I bought, what was, well, I know you guys will figure out which ones are new, because they're like cleaner, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'll just be showing you guys what the prices were for all my new things that I got, so yeah, okay, what is special about this binder? This thing, what's special about this binder is because it's just very helpful when, helpful when it comes to organizing. Why? Well, it comes, it's it's an extension. It has three folds. See, 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 it has three. See, see, see. One, two, three. It becomes a triangle. But yeah, it's just like very helpful when it comes to organizing. So here I just keep a ruler. You can keep special handouts like your homework or you can keep handouts to your parents or whatever. But I don't. I just keep a ruler there and my name tag. So I'm going to put that after. So yeah. So then on this side, this is a new thing. Um, later, I'll just show you guys how much it was at the description below. Same thing with the binder, the folder that I have and some writing and stuff utensils. So yeah. This is just free. I don't I don't really want to put anything here. I just want to keep it free because like I wanna have an everything anything like more than here. I might just put this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But then it's just gonna make it all bulky like I don't want that. So yeah. I'm just gonna leave that free. I have a ruler here, like I said already. Then I'm just gonna fold it back, and it still stays flat. It's just like very helpful. It kind of makes it kind of lift up so that you don't have to like go all the way down. There. So I just have a, five dividers. I only have four that's showing because I don't. Re I didn't really need the fifth one exactly yet. Not till I'm like in a higher grade. Maybe like Come on. When I'm like, yeah. So yeah. Um, I just don't want it to like get into like middle school and when I get eight electives or not eight elect electives, eight classes or five depending on what I want and what my teacher wants or whatever. So yeah. So I am kind of crazy. I'm jumpy too. So I just have um, also loose leaf college rolled paper as well. Same thing with the thing here. But the thing is that it's good to have both loose leaf and in a notebook because the notebook can just be for like regular notes. And this is special because like if your teacher wants you to hand in your notes, like sometimes our teacher wants us to hand in our notes. I'll just use this. And if she just doesn't want to really want it, I'll put it in there. So it's good to have that. And then I just have grid. Sorry, I was trying to do something. 
which is all that I'm and it's nothing, nothing that you need to know. Then I just have a planner. If I didn't have this planner and I was able to get those like Studio C ones or whatever size, I would put the notebook here and just keep the um, other planner like in my backpack, in my desk, in my arms. So yeah. And then I usually have important papers here, but I didn't really have any. One of the important papers to me that I need to have here is my um, lunch window, because that way I know when to bring lunch, when to not, you know. Then I have pockets, which are binder pockets. You got to put it down. Stop. A binder pocket. Is that a booger? No. Sorry, that's my uncle. So just a binder pocket. You guys should get one of these. And then I have sheet protectors. I have this folder. And then this folder was new because you can feel it looks less grimy. It's so smug. It really is. In good time. So. So. And then I just have this. So, yeah. That's how I organize my. You can actually do the same thing with a regular two pocketed binder, but this is good just for organizing. So, so also what I got now are these pencils. These are just really nice ones. I know I'm like, what the heck? Why is she talking about that? These are just really helpful because I know I like wooden, but I also like mechanical, and these are mechanical, but they have the, the lead. The lead of a um, the lead of a pencil. Well, you know what? It's not gonna work. So I got two of these. I got a yellow one, with, like dirty. And then so technically, it just has like random things and same thing with this so and then I had the lead you will not believe how thick the lead is look at it it's a 2.0 and then I have just this green piggy eraser and rippers so yeah it's a hat things around so remember description below we'll be having everything that's new and how much it was, how much I got at least. So, should I talk about anything? Oh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys because I have a few seconds. I'm reading this book. I know I'm supposed to be reading this in like high school or middle, but my mom made me read this. The Complete Tales of po and Poems of Edgar Poe. So I hope you guys really like this. And um, yeah, so keep